to me in my mind the, the police is there mm. to serve and protect yeah. South Africa South African police services yeah Yes, welcome back to another episode of the Think Differently videocast. Uh, today, we are doing the whiskey with TDD segment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how are you doing, very Good. I'm always good, bro. Tired of you. No, I'm like, I'm like, how are you doing, Shamira? I'm good. Okay, now that you got it out of the way. Oh, I'm good. Guys. Yeah, I, <laughs> I hope you guys, who was watching, is good. Today, we're having a bit of uh, Captain Morgan. Yeah. All right. And, uh, with some with some water, you know, we, we try to warm up. It's, it's, it's a bit of a cold day today, bro. The winter's been rough. Bro. It's rough winter, but you know, uh, yeah. But anyway, it's not the only thing that's been rough. Uh, today, our topic of discussion uh, regarding the whole looting, um, the violence and the riots that yeah. took place this past week. So we're going to be talking a bit about that and just obviously expressing our opinions. Yeah. On how it affected us and how it affected basically the whole of you know South Africa. Bro. Yeah, yeah. What What are your thoughts, bro? From um, all right. Before that, bro, chess. Oh, well, scores, bro. Chess and scores. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty down. So, yeah. Well, um, I don't know, bro. There's like a whole bunch of mixed feelings about it, you know. Yeah, bro. Um, it's. It's tr it's tragic what happened. Yeah. Um, I know I I personally know a few people who suffered. Mm -hmm. Um, a few people who had businesses who suffered as well. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it's I, I think we all know the truth. You know, there's people who were there because of Zuma's incarceration. They yeah. want him out. You know, there's there's people who were there to, to seize the opportunity. Um, mm -hmm. you know, there was just and there was random people as well. They just like they saw it and they were like, all right, just jump 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 in the bandwagon. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I think all of it's true, bro. And I think for me personally, how I felt, bro, I'm just kind of upsetting mm -hmm. um, because it's, it's I, because I understand the financial impact it's going to have now, from now till the next 10, 20 years, bro, yeah. is that it's going to take the economy so long to mm -hmm. recoup, right? And, then I, and I think that's the part that upsets me the most is that it's, you know, people have bought this, their business, people have bought this business from 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Some of them have, you know, gone through loans, gone through the same stuff. And they had to now, you know, it's, everything's gone and they don't have money to recoup yeah, all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, nonetheless, bro, besides all of that, I think it's it just definitely, for me, personally, it seems very organized. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. seems like it's a very organized sort of crime. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw an, e e uh, sorry, an ENCA, yeah, yeah. the one morning, someone puts the news on every morning. So I'm watching the, the one lady and the guy's like, um, <clears throat> they had this one this specialist economist or something yeah. who was talking about why they think this happened. Yes, yes. And the guy was an, alluding to saying that this is all, you know, it, c it comes from poverty and hunger. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I'm sitting there, it's early in the morning, I'm drinking my coffee and I'm thinking to myself, this guy's a fucking asshole. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not because of poverty or hunger. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, maybe for a selected few, yes, yes, there's yeah. poverty and hunger. Yeah. But have you seen like the mass of it? You can't tell me that whole mass mm. is going through poverty and hunger, bro. Where were they all this time, bro? Yeah, yeah. You know, so I was like, this guy is not making sense. It's not a poverty and hunger thing. Mm. It was at one stage, mm. but then it was actually about Suma, and then it was about opportunity. Opportunity. Yeah. Because I mean, there was that guy with the the C two hundred, the guy who took the who the Mercedes Benz C two hundred. Oh, went shopping shit. at Woolies and put his basket in his car. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, so you could tell the, the different yes, levels yes. of people. But yeah, bro, I, I think it was a very frustrating week, personally. personally yeah. Like, even I was, when people talked to me, I was just like in a very angry mood, you know. Yes, I think yes, because yes. of the trouble, uh, you know, the riot was caused, just very upsetting, bro. Yeah. I have a family that lives in Durban, so for me it was extremely scary. Oh, shit, I forgot. You know, that. Yeah, yeah. like, just you're worried about your family and their safety and then like what's gonna happen you know are they gonna be without food how do you help them like it's a million other things going through your head mm -hmm. you know of what you can do and you can't do anything at that point in time i think it's just it's it's a bad situation that could have been curbed much much quicker yeah. if we took the right measures i mean when covid started and we were on level five we had the army right there Mm. telling you how you can't go to the shops we had looting going on for three days mm. like mass destruction and where was the army mm. like most of them they're saying they're seeing them in 
Santon, you know, by Alex and stuff like that. And to some degree, it makes sense because Santon is the hub, you know, for Africa, our financial hub. But at the same time, like, Durban has lost so much of their community, so much of businesses, so much of, like, livelihood. Mm -hmm. And I think they could have done a lot more to make okay, sure, okay. to protect their community. Mm -hmm. I mean, you shouldn't, no person, like, we heard... Um, you know, where I work about people saying that they have to prepare their kids and to say, you know, keep a bag ready. If anything happens in the night, you know, take your stuff and run. Like, no one should have to do that mm -hmm. for their kids, you know, little kids that you have to prepare. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just, it, it was extremely sad. Mm -hmm. I like the point you made about the, you know, the army and all of that. Yes. Because even <clears throat> already, like, I felt like, you know, the cops, they were, uh, they were chilling, bro. They were chilling, bro. Yeah. I, 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 you were too slow. When, when you started, I was like, ah. These guys, they're still chilling. Mm. Because literally, bro, it's it's not hard. You know, to me, in my mind, the, the police is there mm. to serve and protect yeah. South Africa. South African police services. Yeah. Right? SEPs. But what? Yeah. Exactly. So, when it comes to shoot to kill, it's for the benefit of South Africa. Mm. We're not looking at, at individuals, you know. Mm. We're not looking at how many families you're going to affect. Mm. We're looking at the nation. The economy. Mm. If that's what it has to take to protect South Africa, I personally believe that that's the route that should have been taken from the start, bro. Mm. If you had to shoot to kill, and tough luck, you had to shoot to kill. People mm. shouldn't be writing like that in the first place, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I judge because it's, you know, when I look at the videos, bro, it's like I saw one macro, bro, and the way they, you know, looting, whatever, bro, yeah. it was so casual. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it actually made me think, like, bro, is, is it that easy yeah. to just walk into macro? And for hours, bro, just working and taking the, ni the niggas that vans lining outside. Bro, yeah, like, bro, I saw that. Bro, like, so it's, it's, it's almost as if like we really are an obedient nation, bro. Because <laughs> if it's that easy, why did we do this like yesterday, bro? You know, I'm not say I'm, I'm not I'm not like perpetuating um, crime or whatever, but I'm just I'm just just thinking like you're so the response of the military yeah. and the police was very slow. Um, a lot could have been avoided. Um, even if it wasn't to shoot to kill, but I just think their presence yeah. was gonna scare people away, bro. Because uh, you see now they have tankers out and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. All that, bro. Yeah, I, I personally don't think those tankers are armed. I just think it's for <laughs> for show, sure, bro. Just say, pass off, you know. Uh, this this whole thing. My personal opinion is that. Uh, the whole thing, first of all, bro, uh, it, it, it was, it was, like you said, because of the whole President Jacob Zuma, ex-president ex of South Africa, Jacob Zuma thing. Um, some people felt like, you know, you know, the problem with, with I think we have right now, uh, especially our generation or anyone, is that if you say something, it's like, you say, you say, I know, for example, if you say Zuma must, Zuma mustn't, mustn't be free. Yeah. It's almost as if now I'm supporting Ramaphosa. Yeah, yeah. If I say Zuma must be like, free, yeah. it's not like you like corruption, you like all of this. Yeah. So you can't have a debate or, any, or argument or engage anymore because everything is so polarized, bro. If you want to decide, I must hate you. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like the whole looting thing. Some people say that they, they empathize with the, with the people who looted because of poverty and inequality and all those things, mm -hmm. you know, so you empathize with all those things. But then someone else is like, you can't empathize with such criminal acts, yeah, yeah. you understand? And some people be like, wait until they reach your house, yeah. then all the compassion, you know, goes <clears> away, bro. So personally, I feel like um, it was wrong, right? First of all, it was wrong because it's going to affect everyone. Yeah. One, way, one way or another, everyone's going to be affected by fuel. Um, even if you do get fuel, mm. it's going to be more expensive now. Yeah. Because these guys are going to try to cover the cost mm -hmm. of the damage. Food is going to go up. Yep. Um, for a lot of areas... Food's already gone up, bro. You know, already it's gone up. Oh, I was looking at prices and I need to go buy groceries you now. Understand? And I was looking at prices I was like, guys, I used to get this for 100 grand. This five, now, now it's like three for 100 grand. You see? Yeah. So everything, everyone's going to be affected by it. I don't care if you stay in the north. <laughs> you, know, you everyone's going to be affected by it. Yeah. Even our neighboring countries um, that have you know that get resources from us, they're also going to be affected. Yeah. You know, um, so everyone's going to be affected. But also, 
the guys were looting. Um, you look at you look at what they were looting. Food, you know, most of the things were food. Uh, obviously, some guys, you know, when you have a whole warehouse, you're in that frenzy, you don't have a right state of mind. So people end up looting like fridges and things and TVs and stuff that they necessarily don't need. But I do feel somewhat empathetic to the ones that did take. Yeah. Uh, the necessities that they, that they do need because whether you like it or not, the NC, the people in the NC has, has failed us this week. Yeah, yeah. The other thing, bro, that like I, I, I hated the most about it, right, was that you know the whole racial tension thing, right? Yes, as well. You know, yeah. there's the whole, the whole black and Indian and the white, um, yeah. and the white whatever the case is, right? So the popular one now is the black and the Indian, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Not so much at the, the side, or I haven't experienced the side, the side yeah. or no anyone who experienced the side. But the thing is, like, it, it was so sad to see black take from black. Mm. You know, like, like they destroyed each other's businesses. Yes, yes, so, yes. Yeah. So because you were part of Pep in town, it's Doesn't fine. Matter, you don't it. care, yeah. taking it. Mm. And, and, and I think that's the sad part, is like, how, how do we get past, you know, being racist when already we still affecting our own people, people yeah. you know, you, you haven't even gone past like accepting your own people's achievements yes, yes, to yes. now go into, you know, the rest of the races and being like, you know, they, why stand this, you know, stand that, kind of stand that, whatever the case mm -hmm. is. You're already still beating up your own people, yeah. which to me just doesn't make sense, bro. And I think a lot of people to see that is that it's, it's your community mm -hmm. and you also, as much as we want, bro, we can say we, we are one, we are all one, uh, race doesn't mean anything. Race means something. Yeah, yeah. Let's not obscure the truth. If race doesn't mean anything, you wouldn't have BEE -E and, and, things, and yeah. all of those things, and we wouldn't be a, we wouldn't be counting how many white people we have in the company, how many Indian people we have in the company. Mm. There would that wouldn't be a thing. Mm. So as much as we want it to be that way, it's not the it's not the, the reality of the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to count it, right, for a specific reason. Mm -hmm, yeah. So let's count it. Mm. But now don't go and kill your own. You know, don't affect your own. Yeah. True, true. Like you gotta be there to support your people. Yeah. You know, like I mean, like they have people in Durban as well. They had to support their families. Yes, yes, yes. And and we, oh, well, whoever came, they had they, they, they gave them whatever they could give. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's just the moral of the story is that start in your own community mm -hmm. and you can expand. Yeah. Because if, if you don't accept your own community, how are you gonna accept someone else's community? You know. Yeah. yeah. You know how how are you gonna uh, accept that those people that they are different to what we do? Do yeah. If yeah. you can't accept your own people doing what you do. True, true, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah,